All right, welcome in everybody. Today we're gonna to be going over your form part two. So this is gonna be a very interactive workout that we do with each other. More of not necessarily a workout, you will be working out, but it's definitely gonna be more for form, okay? So what you're gonna need for today is, if you've got your barbell, this is what you're gonna need. And I would prefer that it doesn't have weight on it, uh, just so that we are safe while working with the form movement, okay? So this is one of four parts that we go into with the members to be able to help them learn how to use the correct form while lifting weights so we can get better results, okay? So if you guys are ready and you got your barbell in hand, let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing is just learning how to pick this barbell up correctly, all right? So a common mistake that I see is that we have the barbell out here and whether we're at the gym or at home, we're picking this barbell up where it's far away. And what that's doing is putting a torque on our low back. So I always think about having the weight of the midline of my body. So the closest you are to the weight is gonna be the best way to pick it up. Now we have a very funny saying here at Booty Bands and it's called butt down, boobs up. That's how we pick things up. So that is definitely our little motto we have here. So let's go into some of the correct form. So when you go to your barbell, I think of about hip distance apart. I think that toes are always like slightly out in my, what feels comfortable for my knees. My hands go onto the outside of my legs. And then you have to have that flexibility in order to really have that booty down. And then when the butt's down and the boob is up, that's when we're gonna pick it up so that the legs are doing the work, not the back. So we wanna avoid picking it up like this, because again, that's hitting this back. So any rounding here, no, none of that. All right, so let's do it about five to 10 times with each other now. Let's get used to picking up that barbell together, because trust me, that will make it look like you're either knowing what you're doing or not what you're doing. <sighs> Breathing, so don't hold your breath. Nice, good, tight cores, you're doing this movement with me. But as simple as butt down, boobs up, that's how we pick things up. I don't think you'll ever forget that now. <laughs> all right, all right, next one is our, how we get that barbell and how we actually pick up that barbell now goes into what's called a clean and press. So this will be utilized if we ever want to put that barbell over our shoulders, or if we're ever wanting to lift it for any reason, or maybe want to lift it up and put it on a squat rack. A lot of reasons, okay? So, all right, let's go ahead and dive into the next one is going to be how we lift that barbell. So the first step to this is just an upright row. So your, your hands are about shoulder distance apart. Your knees are soft and your core is tight. From here, I roll my shoulders down and back and lock them into my back. So my lats right here are being strong to hold my arms in place. And I'm just going to lift the elbows nice and high. Very important that the elbows are high. You'll notice that this is important because look how close that barbell is to my body when I'm lifting it versus if my elbows are down, now the bar goes out here. And if we've got a lot of weight on it, guess what's gonna happen right here? So we want to keep that barbell nice and close to our body. So give me about five to 10 of these. Soft knees, core tight, and elbows go straight up to the ceiling. And once we feel that, and we're doing it correctly, we're also getting a great arm and shoulder workout right here, then we're going to go into the clean. All right, so basically what you're doing here is you're just going to flip that wrist and so your goal is to put the elbows right underneath the bar. All right, so try that with me. So, upright row, get under the bar. Okay, do it again, upright row. Notice that my elbows are high, elbows go low. Do it again, elbows up, elbows go down. Now, a common mistake is that if our elbows are down, all right, that's what's happening. So if we go elbows up, now that bar is so close to my body. So imagine taking your shirt off with that bar. And if you are taking the shirt off, then you're doing it right. <laughs> Love it. All right, so now that we have that part down, then pretty easy, we go into our press. We can put it up on our back or we can just bring it down or whatever. All different things we can do. 
All right, so now let's put it all together. So we're gonna go into our upright row. We're gonna clean. We're gonna press, bring it back down. In order to bring it down from here, we have to bring those elbows up over the bar so that it stays close to our body. And a lot of people miss that step. So either, the, either your elbows are up or your elbows are down, one of the two, but they're never gonna be tucked into your side when you're trying to bring it down. So that is where the weight is gonna be too far away from your body. So make sure that you're doing that. All right, so give that a, give that a go. Let's go ahead and do that about five times with each other now, ready? Elbows up, elbows down, press. Back down, elbows come up over the bar and slowly lower it down. Four more. Good, two more, elbows up, elbows down, press, back down, bring those shoulders up over the, bring those elbows up over the bar and bring it down. And if you really wanna see if you're doing it right, look in a mirror and make sure that that bar is as close to your body as humanly possible, okay? Great job. All right, so now let's go ahead and go over um, one of my most favorite, favorite of squats, all right? There's a couple different ways, um, and I'm gonna show you for squats today. It's just like a, a dumbbell for this one. So different areas of squats that personally I love and are my favorite is being able to adjust accordingly. So check this out. So if we have our chest lifted in our squats, and if you do this with me, you'll notice that what it does is it'll put the activation more in your quads. So if you've ever felt like you're quad dominant, it's probably because you've been lifting your chest like this. Now, if we wanted to work more of the glutes, notice how I'm bringing my torso down. I can extend my booty out further, and now I'm into the glutes. Big difference, my chest is no longer lifted. It's more at a diagonal. All right, so now that changes it, so I'm here. Next is gonna be our sumo squats. Those are nice and wide. This is gonna be working the inner thighs. So your torso is about mid, so it can be at a little up but in diagonal, whatever feels best for you. Keeping that core tight, now you're feeling those inner thighs. So how great is it that you can be working quads, booty, and inner thighs by just a little bit of your foot placement and your torso placement. So let's try it together and let's see if you can feel it, okay? Here's the first one. Lift the chest up, shoulders go back, core is tight. Try to keep that head going straight up towards the ceiling. I feel it mostly in my quads, front of my legs. Let's go two more. You're doing good. All right, now let's get into the booty. Go ahead and drop the torso and just push it back. So you want all of your weight into your heels right here. Think of instead of going down, I want you to think of going back and then down. Like you're sitting into an imaginary chair behind you. And your torso is diagonal, or even you could even, if you wanted to, go even parallel, okay? Feel that one? Good. All right, next one, we're gonna go into those sumos with each other. Let's try these ones. Shoulders back, core tight, going into there. So notice that if you don't have a wide enough stance, you might feel yourself more in your toes. So make a little wider stance so you can feel your push is through your heels. And if you're feeling your inner thighs, then you're doing it right. Hey, look at our form check today. All the different things that we can learn. Whew, I'm already out of breath now. Great job, you guys. Bye, everyone. Have a good night.